No, it doesn't. What research do you have to show that? I don't have any research. We have no research to show that it does. Therefore, it doesn't. It doesn't. So it's a circular thinking. And that's what's going on. And and I did not think that was going to be the case. And I don't think most doctors know that. I, I, we're just told it's been debunked, it's settled, and it couldn't be farther from the truth. Because if you want to do an epidemiological study or you want to do something where you're saying this this has been debunked, you need really good research. You need prospective trials. You need vaccinated versus unvaccinated. You at least need some good epidemiological data retrospectively. And we don't even have that. We don't have big studies that look at big databases, which you could do in a few hours. And you can say, look at the vaccinated kids, look at the unvaccinated kids, look at the partially vaccinated kids. What are the rates of autism? You don't even have that. That would be front page news if it showed that, that it doesn't cause autism. But we don't have that. You look at even uh, Paul Offit's book where he talks about vaccines don't cause autism, and it's separated by MMR and thimerosal. And that's the list of the studies. And there isn't anything else. If it existed, it would be there. So the the reason why it's been debunked is because nothing proves that vaccine causes autism. So we can't say vaccines cause autism. We can't say anything. Right. We can't say anything. I've and and it's and so like insane. Everyone I've talked to said, we don't know we yet. We just don't know. We have to do that research. We should do that research. It may be true that vaccines have nothing to do with autism. But would you give all these vaccines in the first year, how can you categorically say they have nothing to do with it? Maybe they have something to do with it in a certain subset. Maybe they uh, increase your risk in a susceptible child. Maybe they have absolutely nothing to do with it. But you cannot say it's been debunked. It's insane. I've never been more shocked in my life. And it puts me in the villain place because now I'm a doctor saying that, that it's not been debunked, but, but it, it just is what it is. But, the, but it just hasn't. And I don't know why we would say that. Wouldn't we want to know if, again, if vaccines do have something to do with autism, don't we want to know that? It doesn't mean we're going to stop vaccinating. We figure out why. We change up the schedule. We do something different. We figure out what ingredient in there might be related to it. And we change it and we make it better, just like we've done with other things. It's not anti-science to be concerned. And there's so many parents that have the exact same story. So many parents say the same thing. And these are not, they're called anti-vaxxers. This is a parent who took their kid to get a vaccine. They took their kid to get a vaccine. They so trusted in science. And then their experience was they got a vaccine, their kid changed that day. It could be true, could be not true, but that is good, valuable information that you take all of those parents, you look into it, you figure out what happened and if it's related to vaccines or not. And if it is, you stop gaslighting them and you start to figure out what is actually going on. I have heard that a lot, by the way. You know who actually is like far left and has said something similar is, is De Niro. He's like, well, it's something I've seen it. And or whatever. Well, a lot of people had experience with their own kids or their kids' friends. And when you see it yourself, when you see a kid developing what you consider normally for a year or two years, and then they get a vaccine that day and something changes, you're naturally going to say, maybe it was the vaccine. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you had a heart attack that day and had nothing to do with the vaccine. But if a whole bunch of people have heart attacks the same afternoon as getting a vaccine, you should certainly look into it. Heart attack? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if... Oh, if, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm saying, like, if... Ah, if, if yes, if, I understand again, following you. Just, just because somebody has a heart attack, you have to do that vaccine. <laughs> Doesn't mean the vaccine caused it. But if, uh, okay. if millions of people get a heart attack the same day they get a vaccine, shouldn't you say, hey, maybe the vaccine's causing heart attacks today? Is it even <laughs> possible? As the temps start to rise, I get that familiar urge to refresh my closet. But I am done wasting money on trendy pieces that I wear once, which is why I'm obsessed with quince. The clothes are timeless, elevated, built to last, no insane markup. I'm talking about 100% European linen shorts and dresses that started just 30 bucks. Italian leather platform sandals, luxe swimwear that looks straight off a of runway but costs half of what you'd expect. Quince partners directly with top tier factories, cutting out the middleman so you get designer quality at a price that actually makes sense. And they only work with ethical, responsible manufacturers who care about people and the planet. Personally, I stocked up on the linen tees and the tanks, and believe it or not, a killer summer dress. Occasionally, I do wear dresses. And honestly, it finally feels like my wardrobe matches my standards. Upgrade your wardrobe at quince.com. Luxury should never mean compromise. Team, give your summer closet an upgrade with Quince. Go to quince.com slash Jillian for free shipping on your order and 365-day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash Jillian to get free shipping and 365 day returns, quince.com slash Jillian. Right now, the headlines are chock full of data breaches and regulatory rollbacks, making us all vulnerable. But you can do something about it. Delete Me is here to make it easy, quick, and safe to remove your personal data online. Delete Me knows 
your privacy is worth protecting. Sign up and provide Delete Me with exactly what information you want deleted, and their experts take it from there. Delete Me isn't just a one-time service. Delete Me is always working for you, constantly monitoring and removing the personal information you do not want on the internet. For me, I feel so much more secure knowing that my personal info has been wiped from the web simply because I don't get all the robocalls, I worry far less about identity theft, and so much more. So take control of your data and keep your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now, at a special discount for our listeners, today get 20% off your Delete Me plan by texting Jillian to 64000. The only way to get 20% off is to text Jillian to 64000. That's Jillian to 64000. Message and data rates may apply. Possible though, if I was to argue that it's the vaccine and I saw a change immediately, could a change occur immediately? It could if it was completely unrelated. So just imagine, let's just say that every kid's going to, if, if it has nothing to do with it, if you're going to notice autism the first time, at some point you're going to notice it and you're getting a whole bunch of vaccines. So some people are going to notice it right after. Got it. So just for the same thing as like with a heart attack, right? People die of heart attacks. Mm-hmm. So just just take a, a fifty year old. Some fifty year olds are going to die of heart attacks. If you're getting a vaccine every two months, some people are going to die on the same day as they get a vaccine. It has nothing to do with it. If they didn't get a vaccine that morning, they would have still died that afternoon. Right. So you might blame it on the vaccine, but it might have nothing to do with it. That's causation versus correlation when they're talking about those two things. Of course. But if a lot of people are having heart attacks the same day as they die, that's a good study to do. Right. So we should not just assume that when you have thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of parents saying the same story of my kid got a vaccine and something changed. That should perk up research and science to say, OK, let's listen to these moms. Let's listen to these parents. Right. Let's study this to the best of our ability and not say that it's been debunked when it absolutely has not. OK. I want to talk about um, the difference in various populations. So um, two examples. Uh, Young boys are more prone to the myocarditis vaccine injury. Why? Second example, I remember watching Kennedy's confirmation hearing. And uh, forgive me, I cannot remember the name of this damn senator, and I have referenced this several times, but she's a black woman, and she's grilling him. You saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over the studies that came, I believe, out of, I think it was Poland, but at this point I don't recall. Maybe you will remember Um, that black people have a better immune system. And so he had suggested, because arguably, I guess, young black boys were more prone to vaccine injuries. He had put forward that we explore the research because black people have a more robust immune system. So could they I think it was less. I think it was the other way, but either way. I think I thought it was I, more. I can't remember, but I, I think it was it doesn't matter. Either okay. way. Okay. <laughs> There's something about like that the vaccines could could be triggering them differently and he wanted to explore it. And she basically insinuated that he was like a little bit racist, a little bit crazy. And he's like, This is this is solid data that we're looking at. Six two thousand twenty one an interview with Dr. Judy Mikovits, where you said the following, and I quote. We should not be giving black people the same vaccine schedule that's given to whites because their immune system is better than ours. Can you please explain what you meant? Uh, There's a series of studies, I think most of them by uh, Poland, um, that show that to particular antigens that um, blacks have a much stronger reaction. There's differences in reaction to different products by different races. Choose Function because it's the only health platform that gives you access to the kind of data most people never see and the insights to take effective action. Inside Function, you can test over 160 biomarkers from heart and hormones to toxins and inflammation, even stress. You can also access multi-region MRI and CT scans, and they're all tracked in one secure place over time. It's a near 360 view to see what's happening in your body. And that's why top health leaders like Dr. Mark Hyman, Dr. Andrew Huberman, Dr. Jeremy London, they're all behind Function Health. This is why I love Function Health. And you know what else? Lab visits are fast and convenient at 2,000 plus locations across the U.S. Just $499 a year. That's 
a dollar and 37 cents per day for cutting edge health insights. What sets function apart? All the results are tracked over time in one secure place. So you see how your health evolves. Insights come from talk doctors based on your unique results. These could cost over $10,000 if you did it on your own, and there are no perverse incentives. Function doesn't push supplements or pharmaceuticals. It's just powerful, unbiased health data designed to help you own your health. Learn more and join using my link, and the first 1,000 people get a $100 credit towards their membership. Visit www.functionhealth.com forward slash Jillian or use the gift code Jillian at sign up to own your health. Active Skin Repair utilizes a molecule called hypochlorous acid. Now, when you apply it to the skin, the molecule works by mimicking the natural immune response to cleanse, soothe irritation, reduce inflammation, and support healing. Active Skin Repair can be used to treat a wide range of skin issues, including cuts, scrapes, burns, sunburns, diaper rashes, and other types of skin damage. And it's also safe and non-toxic, making it suitable for use on all skin types, all parts of the body, and you can even use it on rosacea, eczema, and acne-prone skin. With over 500,000 happy customers, thousands of five-star reviews, and ingredients so safe and clean they can be used by the youngest member of the family to the oldest, you now have one simple solution for all of your family's skin health needs. So visit activeskinrepair.com to learn more about Active Skin Repair and to get 20% off your order, use the code Jillian. Again, that's activeskinrepair.com and the code is Jillian. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the podcast, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure to let me know what guests you wanna see on in the future.